Welcome to the Dangerous Grounds Network, the number one online radio network in the world. 100% American Badass. Sponsored by Madison Rising. King's Hollow. Redcon One Music Group. The Veteran Exchange. Combat Flip Flops. Brandon Warriors Inc. Let's get dangerous. Coffee. Uh-huh. Coffee no! There. So this is the sewer where you persons breed your anti-community crimes. Hello, Mrs. Gar- President Garcia Thompson. Hey, monkeys, how about a little respect? The presiding person of the university just walked in. <laughs> I went in there one day uh, to the Popeyes, and there was this girl that worked there named Lawanda, uh, who was a cheerleader, but she weighed like 300 pounds, so she didn't cheerlead too hard, you know? She's like, I'm two, four, six, eight, I'm gonna go get something to eat. <laughs> Every man in this room has a buddy who, after his fifth beer, will hang out a car window. Coming to you live from Charlotte, North Carolina. It's the Dangerous Grounds Network presents the number one morning show in America. It's the three percent of morning show with your host, Sergeant Big Country. Now put on that PT belt, wash your cocks and change your socks, and get ready to stroke this freedom boner. Let's get dangerous. What? <laughs> Bitch, I operate. We might be crazy. We might be drunk. We're sipping on whiskey. And now here we come. And we're riding dirty. This might be fake. Three words for your face. Bitch, I operate. Bitch, I operate. Bitch, I operate. Chillin' at the range, fire rate sustain Lead showers when I make it rain Sea clamp like a motherfucking boss hog Got more packages than you, I'm a damn dog Two in the morning, doing CQB Tiptoeing down the hallway Shh, my wife might hear me Got my Instagram game on lock Especially when gun bunnies be drooling on my cock <laughs> Got the whole crew like We the best When I drop loads, they always suppress People say, haters gonna hate I'm just like, bitch, I operate We might be crazy, we might be drunk We're sipping on whiskey, and now here we come And we're riding dirty, this might be fake Three words for your face Bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate Bitch, I operate What's up, DG Nation? Welcome to another episode of the 3% or Morning Show with your host, Big Country and the Crazy Cajun. 
What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> we are back in it. We are live at five, but it's only eight central time. <laughs> Must get that included in there. All right. Because I got a message yesterday. Say, hey, I'm going to call you 845. I said, oh, I get an extra hour to sleep in. And then we giggled about it. <laughs> yeah. You know, you got to keep central for them central time folk, you know. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, man. Y'all got to get with the real time. It's, it's really nine o'clock right now. <laughs> no, T man, you just want some bojangles. That's Ryan. <laughs> and thank you, Ryan. I appreciate you. Yes, you know. Yes, if I don't go on air, Ryan's like it. Like by nine fifteen, he's done blowing me up. Yo, what's up? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> of course, I'm the same way with him. If he's not in the fucking chat room, I'm like, yo, dude, you all right, man? I mean, you know, brothers look out for each other like that. You know what I mean? You, you, you see somebody used to doing something a certain way or a certain time schedule or whatnot. Just like T-Man. T-Man's not in here. It's the same thing. T-Man's like always in here with us now too. So much love to you fellas, man. Much love. <laughs> so what's up, man? What happened the last couple of days with you? Sorry. I had to beat my kids school yesterday, y'all. Uh, man, just uh, moving and shaking, getting things done. That's what's Trying up. to move to the next level. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, finishing up with my... So I don't know if you know what I'm trying to get my LCDC, which is Chemical Dependency Counselor License. And right. uh, I'm finishing up. I got my final for semester three today. Then I'll be doing my uh, fourth semester all online. And I'll be done within the next month. And then I'll be uh, working towards to get licensed through the state of Texas to get that. And then right. I just got accepted to Sam Houston. So working on... Uh, getting all my classes lined up for the fall so I can start working on my bachelor's degree in psychology. So the end game is trying to work uh, with veterans or, you know, troubled folks in the counseling field and, uh, you know, go through my experiences and, and help others get better like uh, I did, you know, and that's the end game. So that's what I've been working on right now is doing that and then uh, getting another place of employment <laughs> that'll put me somewhere in that field as well so I can get the experience Right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. You know, it is it's always good, man, to see our fellow brothers and sisters like yourself going to going to school to take that next step, man, to to be a part of the solution cuz we 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 know we've been through so much of what our brothers and sisters have been through. So it just makes sense to hire veterans that that have, you know, that experience and stuff already. And it's like we was talking about before uh <laughs> it's like we was talking about before the show um, you know, I've, I've just even been in my head here lately as to move, uh, move back to Texas. Uh, but of course I'll be going down to San Antonio. Uh, so that way I can be near Fort Sam Houston to see if I, you know, my, uh, my health care is one thing that has really been kind of dawning up on me. It's not that I can't take care of myself, but it's the point of the actual medical care, you know, how much they actually have here in Charlotte. Or, like, I need to go to Fort Sam now because of my brace and my, my prosthetic. I, you know, I need to go to the gym and have them work some shit out. You know what I mean? And having to plan all this fucking travel sucks. <laughs> so why not just be there? You know what I mean? Son's graduating this December. You know, we can make plans and uh, try to get there by the first of the year or whatnot. I might be T-Man. Might be. Might be, brother. I might be. <laughs> of course, we know Texas has got the best benefits for veterans anyway. So, I mean, it's it's really a win-win. So, so what's on your mind this morning, man? Yeah, I know, Ron, right? <laughs> Ron's tagging on you, man. They're having the debate if it's crazy with a K or a C. It's with a, it's with a K, T, man. I've been trying to tell Big Country that for a while now. He, sometimes he gets excited. <laughs> and wants to do it politically correct like Webster writes it out. And I told him it's a K. And it's oh. tattooed K on my arm, so he can't fuck it up. <laughs> you see, you got to put the blame on somebody, so why not put it on me? <laughs> I travel without an RV or a camper. Uh, you know, man, it's uh, if I'm traveling, I'm packing my truck up. That's a lot of shit to move, man. That is one thing, though, man. Damn, that's a lot of fucking furniture to move. I didn't think about that part. I might cost a little bit to Hey, you know when it comes to moving, you know exactly who your friends are. <laughs> Ain't that the fucking truth? No, you you hit it right there on the money, big man, cuz especially in my state where I have this prosthetic and I can't lift shit. Like I mean, I can lift things, but it's not like I can lift things and walk outside, dump it in the truck, you know, 
because of me walking on crutches. Another reason why I want to be near the CFI is, you know, with my own progression, you know, by myself, I, I've come a long way. And if I could get right there where all those, you know, those doctors and those technicians and stuff is, man, I could possibly end up fucking walking again. And being right there with it would be fucking awesome. But you're right. Because, see, I have to have people move me. So, <laughs> this last time moving back to Charlotte, I did have like three people drop out on me, though. But my brother and his wife and, and whatnot was there. And, you know, my old recruiter, my, the guy that put me in the military, was there to help out, too. So, you know. <laughs> then we ended up ramming the fucking U-Haul up his truck's ass. <laughs> I felt bad as shit, dude. But, that's, yeah. That's he something that's right there. That you get to see your old recruiter. Yeah, yeah, my old recruiter was was there to help me out move. <laughs> sure was. I actually uh, put a post on my Instagram. Y'all can follow me at Sarm Big Country on my Instagram. But uh, put a picture of me up speaking at the uh, Patriot uh, Patriot event that we had with Madison a couple weeks ago. And uh, he's always wanting to comment on my shit and whatnot. But uh, don't be the peg leg. I hear you, homeboy. <laughs> But uh, so yeah, man. I uh, I don't know. I've been checking the news lately, seeing the current events. Uh, pretty exciting times that the uh, you know, uh, North and South Korea has come together finally after sixty five years. Mm-hmm. Uh, I thought I thought it was funny that uh, Trump had mentioned that old uh, presidential regimes failed in this process, and he was basically giving himself a uh, a pat on the back for helping facilitate this move. And then, of course, uh, I saw they were interviewing Condoleezza Rice on the on the news yesterday, getting her thoughts on what Trump was saying. And I was at the gym, so I didn't actually hear what she was saying, but I'm sure she had some kind of silly rebuttal. And it's just, it's a never-ending thing. Why can't we just be happy that these guys are finally, you know, in talks and, and things are getting peaceful? Why has it always got to be, you know, a, a one-up game? You know, who did this? Who did that? You know, oh, right. you know, well, we could have done it better or excuses on why we couldn't get it done. You know, the fact is it's done. Exactly. I mean, this guy was back and forth arguing with Trump. And they were calling him Rocket Man and all this other shit to where now he's having peace treaties with people he was having war with for, you know, half a century. And then all of a sudden I hear there's talks of him and, and Trump actually about to meet in person and possibly do the same thing. So you right. tell me. I don't know. Well, you know, I, I hope it's not one of those instances where it's, hey, look at us, why the other hand's moving type deal. Uh, I hope it's true. I hope it's real. But, you know, a lot of people's trying to bang on Trump right now, too, talking about he's not going to get reelected, that his numbers are fucking down because he's doing what the fuck he said he was going to do. He still is. I mean, like the man or not, he's your fucking president right now, and some good things are happening. But I just hope they stay that way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, part of me feels that way, where, uh, you know, this guy's just making secret moves behind the media and making himself look good right now, so where the heat's off of him. However, the other part of me hopes and feels that, you know, for the fate of humanity, he actually came to his senses and wanted... uh, to stop with all this bullshit. So you never know. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's a cool thing to see, man. And then uh, obviously my next response was, well, does that mean uh, the military is going to be pulling out from there? You know, or are we going to be sitting there as a duty station at the border anymore? Or how long is that going to last? You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Right. You know, and that's our border patrol. I mean, a lot of people like the reserves being activated, but you know what? <laughs> They're protecting shit, man. I mean, hey, at least at least the president called for extra security and stuff, man. It's, I say, man, I, I don't have any, I really don't have any bad thoughts toward Trump or what he's doing. You know, I, I agree with everything for the most part. So, I mean... As long as our vets are taken care of and military is taken care of, you know, we're not fucking financially in a fucking crisis and we got good health care, I mean, keep pushing. I mean, that's pretty much my thoughts on it, man. I mean, you know, we both both personally try to take steps to reach out there and help people and stuff like that, too, which government tries to do, but not on the level that we're doing it at, you know. I-